Part 2. Verdant Wind. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Alliance Army invades the Imperial territories. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. All of that went about as well as it could have. Each Lord has agreed to provide us with soldiers and supplies. I'm impressed you were able to convince all of those scattered nobles to help us. I thought they would quarrel about how much support they should each provide. That's what they usually do. Well, Count Gloucester took the initiative in taking on responsibilities. I presume that was because you spoke with him in advance, Lawrence. I merely explained the situation at hand. Then my father simply followed your lead, Claude. It was because you had the professor there to represent Lady Rhea. My father is a pious follower of the Church of Seros. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I wasn't under the delusion that it was my personal charm that unified everyone. Thanks for that, by the way. I hope you don't feel like I used you, because I sort of used you. I appreciate that. We don't have time to be picky about our methods. But be honest, you're having a hard time adjusting to your new role, aren't you? You weren't even a follower of Seros to begin with, and somehow you've ended up as a representative of the Church. I realize that you might feel guilty about deceiving the believers for our cause, but this is just what the Archbishop wanted, and she's the highest authority in the Church. Besides, as wielder of the Sword of the Creator, it's undeniable that you're special. I think you should be more confident in yourself and use your position to the fullest. I have news. Our enemy is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. Their army is immense, likely led by a renowned general, or perhaps even... Well now, that would be interesting. If we can defeat the Emperor, then the Empire will collapse. There's something else. An unidentified army has approached the Great Bridge of Murden. They passed through the Daphnil and Gloucester territories from the northwest with incredible speed. They're raising the banner of House Blathed. Perhaps they are the remnants of the Fargus royal family. From what we could tell, they posed no threat to the citizens of the Alliance, and so we refrain from engaging them in needless combat. Maybe they hope to fight against the Empire to avenge their fallen prince. And what about the bridge itself? Obviously, we wouldn't let them pass without receiving envoys first. We thought they may try to force their way through. We considered firing warning arrows, but they left immediately, heading east. Are they intending to use one of the bridges in Ordelia territory? Most likely. But the Imperial Army still controls those bridges. I can't imagine what they intend to do in the Empire, even if they do manage to break through. I'm reluctant to ease up on our surveillance, but it would be difficult to track them there. For now, let's assume they're just troops belonging to the Old Kingdom. In any case, we should proceed with caution. Soon we'll be entering Empire territory ourselves. If our enemies are going to intercept us with an attack, it will probably be at Grander Field. How fitting that it was the site of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion five years ago. My next steps are clear. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Show. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer playthrough. I decided to, uh, you know, just kind of do some inventory management. Gave, um... Okay, I thought that was going to give me 3,000 renown, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. Um, was I doing, doing some inventory management? I uh, gave Ferdinand that, um, I was, it's like Sacred Gale Shoes or something like that. That I don't fully remember what the actual uh, 
name of the damn item is. But uh, I gave him that, so uh, now he uh, has, I think, plus, it gives him plus two movement. So he's, uh, I think, can move uh, six spaces. Though I'm not high enough level for this, I still uh, have so much freaking defense with Raphael. Uh. You should have seen that coming. I mean, granted, this is just against brigands, so... Might start getting a little harder. Nope, still a brigand. Oh, yeah, anyone, 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 you saw that, uh, that class, that... Uh, that Claude joined? Uh, awesome. Plus, I love that dragon. Alright, this one's gonna be a little bit more of a... A little bit more of a fight. Nope, we still got it. You should have seen that coming. All right, who do we got in the finals? We got a warrior who's going to do 30 damage to us. I should be able to win this one. Given everything hits. Okay, so he does 30 points of damage total. There we go. There it is. That's another one. There we go. Free Silver Axe Plus. I still can't use that with, uh, with Byleth. Um, can Ferdinand use a steel, uh, Silver Axe? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, that's right, that's for uh, Crest Gloucester. That's, uh... Meh, not much I can do with that. Well... How is it Silver Axe? There it is. Well, I guess it's, it's a, um... What, it's like the... It's not a hero's relic, it's a... Yeah, it's a, it's a sacred weapon. It's not a hero's relic. You know, I I don't know if anybody out there knows. Can you can you tell me? Do I need the corresponding crest? Uh, for the sacred items, do I need the corresponding crest to get the bonus, or can I get the bonus even without the corresponding crest? Because I think you get the bonus no matter what. So the, I haven't seen the severed head myself. Perhaps he's still alive and don't patronize me. If his head is still attached to his body, I'll remedy that without hesitation. Either way, a major battle awaits us. Try not to die. I'd be annoyed if you did. Oh, I don't want you to be annoyed, buddy. I'm just kind of getting boosts to whatever I skill I think sounds fun. Be in my father's territory. We actually crossed it five years ago for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Oh, this is terrifying. What am I going to do? I gotta get a grip. You think we'll meet him on the battlefield and he'll kill me? The front lines cover a long stretch of land, you know? We might not even run into him. <laughs> it's just I'm freaking him out. Just, just for fun. Yeah, like I was saying, I, do you need the corresponding crest? Because for the sacred, uh, for the sacred relics, like I'm using the uh, the shield of Seros, I think I can still get the bonus even without the crest. I, just like like I said, let me know. I seem to lack the skills required to grieve for the dead. If someone has passed, even someone dear to me, I could stand about and wail or get on with my life. While I'm at it, that whole idea that we must speak well of the dead. I don't understand that, either. If I didn't like them when they were alive, then why pretend to do so when they are no longer here? I mean, he's not wrong. It might not be the nicest point of view, but he's not wrong. Hey, hey, it's Flane, that character that I really hate. 
Has it truly been five years since? Can you recall whether it was before or after I joined your class, Professor? It was right after. I am glad you have not forgotten. It was shortly after I joined your class. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, because we uh, we picked you up that one month, and then the month after you joined uh, joined the school or joined the class, whatever words. But the fight has only just begun. Enbar, the imperial capital, lies far to the south beyond Grander Field, and waiting for us on the way there is the entire imperial army with twice as many troops as us. We had better brace ourselves. All right, I think. Who else is here? Yep, just Ignatz, making good work. Thanks to our victory, I've been able to study the Great Bridge of Murden at my leisure. And you know what? It's an astounding structure. So much history there. Imagine how much time and effort it must have taken to build something that big. Over water, no less. I hope that someday it will be opened up to the people of Fodlin, a historical site rather than a military checkpoint. And yeah, you can only teach me in, in sword. Anyone in. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He was the last one we needed to, uh, to see in that area. Anyone in here? Ah, it's Sylvain. Professor? The time's come to fight the Empire, huh? Wow. It's shaping up to be quite the battle. And I've got no problem with that. But that mystery army really worries me. There's no indication if they're friend or foe. Who do you think they are, Professor? I suppose it's possible. After all, His Highness is supposedly dead. Well, whoever they are, I hope we can avoid fighting them. You know, I, I keep saying this. I like Dimitri so much more after the time skip. I think he's one of the few characters that I actually think gets better after the time skip. I mean, a lot of them, I you see, you know, like Bernadetta, you see her kind of uh, become a little more, uh, I'm trying to think what's the, you know, you see her kind of grow a little bit more of a spine. She becomes more brave. Dorothea becomes a little, I'm going to say a little less, I don't want to say self-centered. I guess she's more egotistical than anything else. I heard that some unidentified troops have appeared, but apparently they were flying the flag of the Fargus royal family. Do you think it was Dimitri's ghost? His country was taken before he ever wore the crown. Surely he must regret that. Um. Actually, let's do this note here. Uh, sometimes I think living. I do. Blah blah. blah. Um. Sure. There you go. Happy about that, Manuela? There you go. Um, what was I saying? Right, you know, I see Dorothea. She gets a little less, uh, I, I'd say, self-centered. Again, self-centered. I think egotistical is probably the better way to um, to describe Dorothea. Need something. This one? I will take another charge to the Divine Pulse. See you again soon. Yeah, she, she becomes much less egotistical and everything, but Dimitri really really changes after the time skip. I trust you and Claude, but I feel uneasy. If we lose in the next battle, the Empire's army will likely come surging into Alliance territory. If that happens, my parents won't escape unharmed. They've raised their anti-Imperial flag after all. Thank you, Professor. I'll fight with all I've got to. Speaking with you has eased my mind a bit. Just enough, in fact, to put me in the mood for sweets. Claude seems filled with confidence, but I wonder if everything really will be okay. The Imperial Army might be hiding the Emperor, and the troops headed south might belong to the Old Kingdom. I'll be honest, I'm incredibly uneasy about all of this. But at this point, there's no option but to move forward. Alright, there we go. Now that we've talked to everyone, I can finish this goddamn point. Yeah, I mean, Demetri just gets really cool, because I mean, he gets really aggressive and angry. Uh, you know, always, uh, you know, he, he basically, he's living with the ghosts of all the dead and everything that he blames himself for. And he gets really, you know, kind of almost suicidal. Yeah, he just, he gets all violent and I love it. And his eye patch and long hair make him even better. Even though, oddly enough, he doesn't have the eye patch. Hey, what's, what's up, dog? You know, he doesn't have the eye patch, um, post time skip with, if you play as um, the the Black Eagles, 
Which I always thought was kind of weird, but I, I still like, I like the eye patch. Word just reached me that the Empire has stationed soldiers in Fort Mercius. If they decide to dig in their heels and defend the fort, we'll be in a difficult situation. I hear it's an impregnable keep, surrounded by high ramparts. Taking it would not be easy. Eh, why not? I'll get a little bit of a, a little bit of a boost to my my axe skill. Hey, I could use a hand. Find an herb, help the nerves of a soldier. Sure, 500 renown. Bunch of fishing bait, not bad. Beyond the Great Bridge of Murden, it's all unfamiliar territory for us. We don't know where Lady Rhea is being held. We ought to investigate all potential locations thoroughly. The Knights of Saros will handle the search. We'll report back if we learn anything. Hey. All right, let's see here. I think I've. Nope. I uh, miss talking to Judith in here. I'm trying to kind of like hey. clear uh, clear the monastery in a grid. Since little Claude became their leader, the Alliance Lords haven't been especially unified. Now they're suddenly united for a common cause. As a result, the Empire hasn't been able to perform even one successful incursion. Rather, we're the ones who might get the jump on them. It's incredible. Magical even. Maybe his strategic genius was simmering for those five years and it returned to a full boil once you two were reunited. Or maybe he always knew he'd meet you again, and he was preparing for that this whole time. Honestly, I think it's that second one. I think I think Claude... Claude likes to act like, you know, he's got everything planned out, but I, I think he has faith, but not necessarily in, like, the, in the church. I think he has faith more in his friends and the people he knows. I don't know, maybe that's just... That's, that's a little too poetic, but... It's just the, always the vibe I've gotten off of Claude. I think he always trusted that the professor would come back and, you know, uh, planned his courting, uh, planned his strategy accordingly. I've cut all contact with my family since joining this fight. Were I to see soldiers of the Galatea family amidst the host flying the royal family's banner, I, well, all chance of reconciliation with my father would end there. I do not know if that is the right path. But the fact is, I've come this far. There's no time for second guessing. Not anymore. I can respect that. And let's see, people on horses. You know, I've never understood why our stables are up a bunch of stairs. Like you'd think that would this would not be a great place to put stables for horses. I mean, is it just me? I mean, I think down here where this market is would be a much better place, but I get it. They want to have the market near the, kind of like the entrance to the castle, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just, I... I, I, I just, I think they could have... I don't know. I, I just, I, I, th I think it could have been structured a little better. Tell your friends! Eh, I thought he would have cool stuff. Things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your great deals, all that great stuff. Keep working on that axe skill. Welcome. Eh, what do you got? Silver shield, hex lock, eh. Yeah, she has unlimited master seals. I can, eh, I can buy skill items, but. Uh, not right now. Right. Reconnaissance is becoming more of a risk the deeper we move into enemy territory. If I don't come back, assume I'm dead. I'm glad you think so highly of me, but we have to be realistic. Don't waste your energy worrying about me. I saw that little smile. Ah, oh, come on. Should have given me. Should give me uh, a little bit more support with her off for that conversation. Come on. Like I said, I saw the smile. I've got to keep this place clean, and I mean properly clean, every day. Dust it, sweep it, everything. You never can tell when Lady Rhea might be back. So basically, you've resigned to being a janitor. I gotta say, it's tough to keep the fighting spirit alive when you recognize your enemies on the battlefield. So you can't avoid it, huh? 
How did everything get so messed up? Just because we're fighting someone doesn't mean we gotta hate them. That's probably the worst thing about war. Win or lose, I still get a bad taste in my mouth. You know, I mean, I... I still agree most with Edelgard in this whole thing. I, I've got to be entirely honest. I... Because I really, I don't think the church in this game is necessarily a force of good. If we defeat the Imperial Army at Grander Field, what will our next objective be? I guess we won't have much choice but to try to take Fort Mercius on the far side of Grander Field. It's probably too soon for us to be thinking about that, is it? I'm sure it's already occurred to Claude, though. You, 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 you kind of get what I'm, what I'm saying. I've just... I'm not a fan... Of uh, of the church in this game, I, I really I think they're they're not good people. I really don't trust Rhea in any way, shape, or form. So we're finally going to set foot in the Empire. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I guess there's a good chance we'll be fighting more old friends from here on out. You know, I mean, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the kingdom kind of feels like a. Kind of like almost, almost like it's it's been brainwashed by the by the Church of Saros and everything. Leicester seems a little bit more neutral, a little more, a little more like Switzerland. But um, I don't know. I, it's it's like I said. I've just I've never. Okay, she's oh she's right out here. Okay, I've been trying to find Hilda. Claude was saying that our next battle might be in Grander Field. Is that right? Reminds me of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. But of course, that was a very different time. When it was over, all three class heads complimented each other on their bravery. And then we had a party. But we can never go back to that, can we? Yeah, I hate to say it, Excuse but me. probably not. Could you do me a favor? Thanks so much. You're a sweetheart. All right, free 3,000 gold. Uh, well, you know what, let's, let's sit down and eat. Dining staff, today special. Eh, sadly, Shamir's not a fan. Is she a fan of anything? kind of surfing for something. I just want to keep boosting. Um, trying to keep boosting support with her. But yeah, I can't find anything she, that she particularly enjoys eating. Ah, there we go. Kind of found one uh, by chance there. And... Eh, sure, Ferdinand, why not join us? Hmm. I like delicious after a Frankly, I'm not planning on having him bond with any other character, plus it gets him a little bit more motivation. Alright, that's all of my time that I can allocate today. We might see Edelgard herself leading the enemy in the next battle. If they're coming out of Fort Mercius, our troops might even clash on Grander Field. And those other troops on the march. Who knows what they'll do, or what side they'll take. Not sure how we're supposed to form a strategy with so many unknowns. Yeah, as long as you're there, we'll be fine. In times like these. What am I supposed to make of it? Anyway, we've come this far. Let's just keep putting one foot in front of the other and see how far we get. Of course, there is one person in the goddamn dormitories. Lorenz, you piece of absolute garbage. Hey! The Great Bridge of Murden was considerably better fortified than it was five years ago. The bridge was full of soldiers, and they all died. Oh, that's right. I forgot about her having her whole kind of crisis of conscience. Conscience? Yeah, it's conscience. I can't speak. Uh, let's harvest all that. Nothing good. Let's plant. Hey. 
Boop, boop, boop. Head over here. Oh, shit. I forgot to talk to uh, Bernadetta. Thanks. I'm glad I asked. There we go. Bunch of renown as well. So, the campaign continues, does it? Well, allow me, as a professional recluse with 10 years of experience, to volunteer for, um, staying behind. Oh, who am I kidding? The fighting won't stop until we've defeated Edelgard, will it? Or until we lose, I guess. But there's not much use in thinking about that. Yeah, remember when I said Bernadetta was showing a little bit more of a spine in this game? Yeah, uh, d despite comments like that. You know, I don't get why they made the second floor of the dormitory almost a completely separate area. I just kind of wish that they... I don't know, either kept it all on one floor or had it no load screen between this area and the area below, which is a little bit more of a pain in the ass to maybe come talk to one person. The monster has changed its allegiance and joined the faction that is against the Empire. The Alliance will thus remain united. But thanks to this latest ploy, my father is more suspicious of Claude now than ever, if such a thing is possible. Ordinarily, I might credit his helpful posture toward us to his devout faith in the Church of Se- But it is clear to me now that this is nothing more than a shrewd calculation on his part. He is only thinking of his position. We are in the clear for now, but please bear in mind that the Alliance is never an entirely stable union. Alright, um... Come up here, talk to the last remaining people up here, then we'll head over to, um... Head over to Abyss, talk to the wolves. Each time we press forward, our search for Rhea broadens to a wider area. I certainly hope we will find at least some clue. But I do suspect I already know where she is. If I'm right, and she is in the Imperial capital, then we cannot save her until we topple the Empire. Well, I mean, of course we can never really save Rhea until the very end of the game because otherwise it would raise questions of um, how come we can't have her turn into a giant dragon and go ham on everybody? Hey. I hear the next battle could be a big one. Is that true? I miss the old days when if someone got hurt we'd rush them to the infirmary and make them well. But on the battlefield there's not enough time to help. People die. I also kind of wish we could put Claude in his battle armor instead of his Aww. prince clothes. We secured the win in our first skirmish, but the next battle is a different matter. The Empire will come after us with everything it's got. Even so, the ultimate victory will be ours. And I'm not just saying that. I've made ample preparations to ensure our victory. It's my rule to never leave victory to chance. You can't rely on the protection of the goddess. With your power and my schemes, I should be able to plot a direct course to victory. I don't know, he, look, he like, looks like a gold version of the Michelin Man, if the Michelin Man became a, like, a Castro-esque dictator. Nobles who are changing allegiance again and again. I do not have understanding for that. How can you trust if treason comes with ease? How can you be calling yourself a noble? I do not have understanding of the reasoning. Surviving is more difficult without trust. There must be some other goal. Well, I mean, personal gain is there as well, but... Yeah. No, I mean, I'm serious. I mean, like, look at Claude. You know, kind of like the front with the... You know, all the affectations or whatever on the on, on his on his robes or clothes or whatever. It kind of reminds me of, you know, kind of like a Castro, kind of like a military uniform, but in gold. And then the arms and legs remind me of the Michelin Man. I, there, there was a, there was a reason I said what I said. It's really dumb, but it's, a, it's a reason nonetheless. I'm looking over at my cat, sitting, sitting over there, sitting on my bed. He's taking a nap. Oh my gosh, I, I, I was actually able to reference him in a video, and he's not looking up, going, "What are you talking about me?" Nah, it's probably it's really hot in here. He's probably <laughs> trying to ignore that. Hey there. Oh well. 
Yeah, I, I don't make him sit in the room with me. You know, if he wants to go sit in the hallway, sit, or sit somewhere else in the house, sit somewhere else in the house. I don't know. You know, I mean, I like spending time with him, but still. Go, go be comfortable. But no, he wants to sit in my room, so all right, fine. Across the bridge is Burgley's territory. It marks the start of our incursion into the Empire. Worry not. I feel no trepidation as we do this. Mark how my spellcraft carries us through to Envar, heart of the Empire. Hello. I've been coming in here and seen the trash pile in a while. Broken iron sword, iron axe, iron gauntlets. Oh, okay, so garbage. My rule is never to play my hand if I can't win. That's why I'm here. To win. This is my life on the line. Don't let me down, yeah? In the end, I'm the one who decided to be a part of this. So it's my own fault if things go south. We're fighting people we used to know from the Officers Academy. Guess that's the kind of thing that happens in war. But still, it's pretty twisted. It makes me feel so... Oof. Maybe I'll just try not to think about it. That's what I'd do. I'd be like Linhart, just so. compartmentalize. Hey. It seems the Alliance has avoided becoming nothing but a glorified battlefield. I may have cut ties with my family, but I'll admit, I'm still worried about how they're faring. For now, at least, my little bro has managed to keep them afloat. He's a good leader, that one. I'm curious. Um, die. Nope. Still no new levels. How, what's my current support level with with Shamir? Am I a B? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see the um. That's uh, fortune teller. Hello. There we go. I was trying to remember her name. The Wayseer. That's what it was. I'm like Wayfarer. Sounds right, but I know it's not. Spend 500 renown points on it. Yeah, the only two that I can connect fates with right now is, uh, yeah, Marion and Raphael. Come back soon now. Professor. I think that, I, again, I think the whole connecting fates thing in this game is, um, the only reason it's there is to guarantee that you pair units at the end of the game. Because there isn't... Because I think, unlike previous Fire Emblem games, because I've seen LPs of those, um, that two characters, if uh, you know you, you can get them up to S-rank support, you they can only get S-rank support with one character. Um, at least I... If I remember correctly, that's how Fates and, um, I always do, I always do this. Fuck me. It's Fates, and what was the one right before Fates? Awakening. There we go. At least I believe that's how those two games did it. Because that's how relationship and marrying units worked. I mean, that one also had the, you know, I, children were in both of those games, if I remember correctly. I know children was were an awakening. I, I'm pretty sure children were, you know, like the kids of your units were also in fates for some reason. It worked a little better in in um awakening, because I know there was that time traveling aspect to it, but yeah, whatever. Um Alright, who to work with? You know what? It gets a support. There we go. Oh, jeez. All right. So Claude's pretty much at the class. He is. Same with Lorenz. I'm trying to think what I need. I think, I, yeah, I need both riding and... I think my heavy armor might actually... You really... I think his... Yeah, his heavy armor might actually be good enough.
Yep, just needs higher writing. Ignat's already a Mortal Savan, already a Gremory, she's already a Valkyrie. Um, still needs to get her Lance higher. Let's see if we can just get Hilda that boost this. to her Axe skill. Paladin, she should be close to becoming a Bow Knight. make you better at your brawling, damn it. it. It'll get there. And Bernadetta. You gotta get your sword up if you want to become a uh, Falcon Knight. Um, yeah, actually, you can stop focusing on clearing rubble. Um... Work on stable duty. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take that same pair and put them on stable duty. Have them work with the horses. I'd like to. Fishing is what truly calms me. It's time consuming. What do you think I should do when a visit to the pond is too inconvenient? That seems. There you go. I thought he'd like that one because he likes writing as well, from what I remember. Professor. Nope. Keep doing what you're doing. But no, like I was saying, I, I know that previous Fire Emblem games, that, you know, once you get those characters to the S rank to marry the unit, it happens and then you can't um, gain S rank with other characters. With this one, I know you can get the S rank support, but whether or not they, they're, you know, married at the end of the game, it's whoever has the highest support levels. That's a little annoying when you can't, like, actually see any sort of representation of, or there's no, like, number value, you know, put to it. Finally done. So it's kind of so you know you just kind of have to remember who has the high you know who's done more support and has had gain he's gained more support with who at different times. It's like I said, I I find it a little frustrating. It's a little annoying. I almost wish that it was kind of like the older ones where it's you know you bond with one person and that's it, just to make it a little easier. Ah, oh, she's she's almost there. I've got the gist of it now. I'm glad I'm getting. I work to grow. All right. Not a lot of boosts there, but we're 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 making progress. All right. Let's see. Anyone to make uh, new classes with Claude? He's already where he's gonna be. Same with Lorenz, Raphael. Um, what's his possibility of becoming a great knight? It's like, yeah, it's still even 50%. Nope. Still needs a little work. He's already a Mortal Savant. Lysithia's already a Gremory, already there. Uh, how close to becoming a Wyvern Lord? Uh, 47%. She's getting there. That's a weird chest plate. She's getting there. Um, what's her chances... Again, getting there. Wait, what are the... She needs more bow and riding. Okay. Ferdinand. Yeah, I'm not even going to check. He's not even anywhere near close. Eh, still needs that brawl. Caspar. At a 50-50 to become a war master. Bernadetta. An 8% at a Falcon Knight. She's, yep, already where I'm going to have her. I'm leaving her as an assassin. What is your chance at becoming a Swordmaster? 68. It's, I think, going up. Ash. I don't think I can turn him into a Paladin. Nope. Not even close. Sylvain. I think his writing is still holding him back. Yep. 
Mercedes. Uh, same with the net. Just kind of stuck for now. She got seventy percent chance. Um, if I buy a master seal, I'm, I'll buy a master seal. I'll give her a chance to become a Falcon Knight. And not using any of those characters, she'll stay as a sniper for now. Cyril, stay there. Eh. She's good, good, good. Yeah, they're all good. Okay. So I'm going to buy one Master Seal. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, shit. I also want to buy an Advanced Seal. Certifications. All right, give you another shot at this one. He he keeps trying. Holy crap, did he do it? Ah, he did it, finally. He's I'm, I'm not gonna lie though, I, I'm not a fan of the Swordmaster animation. I actually like the Mercenary animations a lot better. It's the one thing that I'm not happy about turning characters into Swordmasters for. Like I said, the animations just kind of suck. All right, come on, you can do it. Ah, it's worth a shot. Next. All right, I'm going to make sure uh, I've got the right combat arts and abilities and everything. I'm just going to do some fine tuning, and then we are going to hop into a paralogue that I think we're going to do this one with uh, Ferdinand and Lysithia. There we go. I, for some, I, I, her last name was coming in. Some, I, Ordelia. Why can't I remember her first name? That was weird. Prime Minister, aren't you? Not anymore. He lost his power and his fancy title. Now he's just a man. I... Shut up! Yeah, do you know what you've done to regular folks like us? Since you villains took over the Hrim territory, our lives have been nothing but pain and misery. Heavy taxes, forced labor, it's brutal! Now we're gonna make you pay. Ah, ah, ah! Hmm, such a nice selection of tea leaves in the pantry here. Tea is nice and all, but it's not much good when you don't have sweets to go with it. Sweet treats are less common, yes, but perhaps that makes sense. War is not sugar-coated. If you've got time to be cheeky, You've got time to find me some sweets. But Lysithia, your smile is so sweet. Lord Ferdinand, excuse the interruption. Our scouts happened upon the information you were looking for. I thought it would be best to let you know as soon as possible. They know where my father is? Yes, sir. Tell me, now. After losing his position as Prime Minister, your father was held in Enbar for a very long time. He escaped. For a while, no one knew where he was. The other day, however, he was sighted alone in the Hrim territory. Seemed he was heading for an allied region. Hrim? Alone, you say? Was he safe? I'm afraid not. There is a major insurrection happening in the Hrim territory. It's been five years since Duke Iyer lost his control of the area. The military seems to have finally lost control, and the people's violence is unleashed. I do not understand. Why are they rioting? It's obvious, isn't it? Ferdinand, do you really know nothing about Hrim? Your own father was ruling it. You don't know what became of the area once he fell from power? If it was truly a House Iyer territory, I would have been trained in governing the area. 
But my father insisted that I have nothing to do with Rin. But now is not the time to talk about this. We have to help him before he gets caught up in the violence. You're right. Now isn't the time for chit-chat. Let's get over there quickly. Professor, will you be coming? We'd better depart as soon as possible. I know a bit about the situation. I'll fill you in later. This is where my father was sighted? The citizens are rioting everywhere. Over there! Quick! We need to help them! There seem to be some people inciting the violence. If we take them out, perhaps the violence will subside. It might be best to spread out. Okay, save the commoners before they're attacked by the angry mob. Okay, well, where are these commoners? The town is in chaos. I do not think we can advance. It seems better to simply hold the line against the enemies in the north and focus our efforts on saving the citizens in the east and... Okay, where the hell are these citizens? Like, are there, like, actual, just, like, normal units, or... I'm actually a little curious... What are, what are my victory conditions again? Route, okay, it's route the enemy. Also just realized there's a bunch of chests on this uh, this map and I brought nobody with lock touch or anybody who has a key. I'm very upset about that. What's my strategy? By the way, we're gonna start with this. Because first things first, I'm going to make sure I can't get attacked by the people back here being assholes. Also, probably mark the flying enemies because they will run faster or fly farther, faster. Words. Leave it to me. I could do that. Could send. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send in, send in Balthus. Do it. Good dodge. Good dodge. I'm awake. And we'll just close that out. Today I was lucky. Made sure to bring a lot of my, my weaker units onto this mission. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nope, no matter what, she ain't gonna. She ain't gonna hit, sadly, but hell can you do? My orders? Eh, it doesn't matter, I'm not uh I'm gonna attack with uh I do this for all of us. Words are really hard. Yeah, she got darting blow, triangle attack isn't really a useful useful skill. All right, so we can move Ferdinand. Like they said, I'm gonna focus my attacks on the. Shall we? Focus my attacks on the units to the uh, units to the south. Constance, just deliver a little bit of damage. Pull back. Leone can roll in. Do that. Make a difference. Who is attacking her? I'm your girl. There we go. Now she's out of range. Start bringing these guys around. Eh, only one of you are actually going to be able to attack him. So, bring it on. Plus, he's got so much defense, good luck. You know what? I'll give him credit. They actually went after him with the one person who probably could do damage to him. Alright, not bad.
All right. Did I? No, I didn't bring. Oh, no. Shamir is the adjutant for Byleth. There we go. So I was trying to figure something out. Oh, what to do, what to do. All right. Let's lead off. Heal up Balthus. Um, yeah, I think that's what I will do. Then he'll gain. Give a. Yeah, I love how they float as uh, Gremories. You lost that. That'll give her and Linhart a little, a uh, little bit of a support boost. Uh, I could kill him with the Vajra Mushti. Eh, I can't kill him with that. Yeah, my magic really sucks. Let's go up and do some damage. Get up so fast. Damn it! I, for some reason, I was thinking Venom Edge could only uh, could only do something like that with. Uh, trying to think here. For some reason, I thought Venom Edge would only work if he initiated the attack. Oh well, life sucks sometimes. That won't work. Also won't work. And we'll get this kill. This could turn the tides. I'm fine. Um, trying to think how I want to handle this. How about a curtsy? Go, we hit him with the bow. I do not have a weapon for, uh, I guess, anti-heavy armor guys, but, eh, that'll work. And she does not have bonus range. I'm trying to think what how I want to kill this guy. I always try to kill this guy, I guess. And here's what we're going to do. Put her there. Gonna use her hand axe. Get some damage. Excuse me. Hiccup. Get some damage on him. Bring Balthus up. He's gonna use his uh his weak magic, but magic not all the same. Uh, that's life. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like I won't be robbed this time. Okay, and and we'll just kind of fly her there. Provide some backup. Maybe we can weaken some people, get some easy kills. All right. We work fast. Yeah. Well, what do you want me to do about it? go we'll bring her over there to fight that axe guy um ba -ba -ba, i need some guys with magic better magic eh, i could use fimble venner but i don't want to Ah, he's got Restore. Could. Yeah. 
I <laughs> love that. Really, that doesn't gain uh, give us any boost to support. You, for some reason, I think it would. There we go. Heals that up. She does not have any range three moves. Go. We'll do a little bit of damage. Finish him off. Sorry. I'm trying to spread kills and minimize how much damage I'm going to take. I think I'm just going to have to move and eat one. Nice crit. Would have preferred the kill, but... Oh, wow. His battalion's almost dead. Uh, can I not do any damage? Did not think so. How about her? Eh, she can get in there with her lance. Why not? Get Leonia. Get Leonia crit, apparently. Whatever. It works. There's more work. All right. Who's left? We got a brawler with killer knuckles, silver sword, and a silver sword. Okay. She's chilling there. Yeah, bring it on, losers. Go, fly up. Get ready to attack. After these guys make their move. Yeah, because they're really not going to do a whole hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm working on I'm working on Ferdinand's defense. I think that's his biggest thing. God damn, I love Seal Strike. Or Seal Strength. Excuse me. And sadly, he has a tom. Does he have a tomahawk or a? Yeah, he's got a tomahawk. Sucks, but what can you do? Oh, looky there! Some houses are still untouched. Let's give them a good plundering, boys. Professor, let's make haste and go help them. Their lives may be forfeit if we don't get to them quickly. Hrah! Go on, boys! Riot to your heart's content! Yeah, well, I will do what I can. Kinda thought I'd be able to get that kill. <laughs> and she'll just move there. Easy kill with the steel bow. Make a difference. Does she have physic? I think she does. No, she does not. Give Hilda just a little bit of a boost. 
Ferdinand. Ah, uh, that's not good. I needed that hit, actually. Leave it to me. Shall we? Uh, yeah. Thank you ever so much for helping us. I don't know what would have happened if it weren't for you. Ready for anything. Shall we? Can't afford to slack off. All right, there we go. Just kind of trying to draw as much. Leave it to me. Draw as much contact as I can. Come on, get it that time. There you go. For our future. Just trying to draw as many people away from the. Uh, From the houses as I can. I'm not the only bad guy here. What? We give up. Have mercy. That guy made us do it. What's my strategy? I could send Byleth that way, try and run some interference. But I think it's smarter just to uh start trying to move over, take the east. I don't think anybody should be able to be able to, uh... Words are hard. Take over that. That, uh, that one house there. Nope. I do this for all of us. Come on, can you get a kill? About this. I'm awake. Let's make this quick. Yeah, Bernadetta, we're gonna, we're we're gonna we're gonna have to have a talk. Oh, yeah. Go. Give her a heal. You can't be. Shall we? Now dismount because that you archer's like coming at you. Save the person. How much damage could she do? Eh, she's got Luna, but that's not... Eh, Hades. Dark Spikes could kill. Seraph... Really, Seraphim would, would kill. Interesting. I could do that. Yeah, the problem is getting Leone far enough up. Sunshine. Should have a move after this because I want to yeah. drop that heal on Balthus. There we go. And 
again, I really wish this rotation could be a lot faster, but what can you do? That works. Really hoping you would have gotten that dodge. That house up there, we I can't really do anything for. I can't help them. Um, what now? Just a scratch. Smells like a brawl. Go, we we'll get that kill. Oh, nice. Not a massive heal, but it's a heal nonetheless. that start rolling in do some damage yeah he's gonna take a little bit but again what can you do I'm trying to think how to I was thinking how to heal and all that, but I'm like, yeah, screw it, I'll just get the kill. Thanks. There we go, give Leone a big heal. Okay, at least I had a double there. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I missed a 91. I missed a 90 goddamn one. Are you kidding me? See if I can draw that axe guy down here. Did some math wrong. They got past it. This is the cost of war. I'll take it. Well, I guess I it wasn't so much I did math wrong as in I just didn't think that guy would do as much damage as he did. Still
Um, yeah, right after that. Any way to kill this guy? Not really. Gotta use the gambit. Gotta keep him in place then. Now I can move her like that. I'm your girl. Keep moving over a net. They got past them. Yeah, like I said, not much we could have done about that. I will see this war through. Come on, defense upgrade. I'm continuing. Well, his defense is at 30. I guess it's pretty good. I guess, um, Raphael just has, his defense is just insane. What's my strategy? It's time. There we go. I fully Kill damage to that guy. He's also stuck in place. He's gonna charge Byleth. What? Yeah, I got Balgona. Bal Balgona. I, I I still don't know how to pronounce that me. that attack. Let's make this quick. I'm awake. God, why does everyone have a fucking tomahawk? Scratch. Will not let down my guard. I do this for all of us. There you go, Bernadetta. We finally got you a kill. Still here. And you got a level. Let's see a strength upgrade. You know what? I'll take it. Sunshine. Oh, jeez. You know what? Screw it. Let's take the risk. You know what? Best outcome. Imagine. Good job, Constance. That's certain. I am not uh, One, two, three, four. Thing? Yep, I get support with. Lysithia for doing this. One of the big reasons I brought him on this mission. And let's just go with Hades again. Yeah, I still I feel like that move being like the ultimate level dark magic could have a cooler look to it. I'm not there yet. Anyone else kind of think that? Make a difference. I'll keep pushing. Let's. Wears you out a lot more when you're lazy. I'll try. Yeah, I'll pull back. Yeah. I'll go this way.
must pull through. Oh, it's going go. Got a little bit of health because of the Crest of Flames. Heal, work up on the white magic. Gonna send, uh... Some more guys up north. Well, Balthus, Ferdinand, all of them can kind of back up. Um, Constance over this way. Back to the fray. If we cause enough chaos, we can do whatever we want! I don't think that's how that works. Well, I didn't get a... crit, but at least I didn't, you know, expend the charge. Yeah, that guy's not gonna hit me while I'm on a... on a dragon. Especially with a hammer. Or maybe he will. What the hell do I know? Can't afford to slack off. Her avoid sucks. What's my strategy? Sent Byleth up that way. God, can you miss? Jesus Christ, what's his dexterity at? It's only a 14, I mean... God damn, he hits. Go up there, take out the archer. Don't get used to this. There we go, hold position. Start moving up this way. Thank you. My ambition unfulfilled. We yield, yield. We were just following orders. It's not like we love a good riot, really. Oh, I was saying, did, did we just win? No, I, th I think it cleared out so many enemies on this side, but I think I'd already beaten them anyways, so. Eh, not much for us there. Um, yeah, we're gonna kind of come up. Uh, I'm gonna try and kind of consolid consolidate my units here, push up this way, and then push across. That's kind of what my plan is. Try and stay behind my shield units. Dodges Leone. Just crap. It was a team effort. Oh, 
Okay. That should work. I'm awake. Go. We'll heal up Hilda like that. Sunshine. Only Let her do that. I think. Yeah, she's outside these guys' range. And I can move, keep moving these guys up north this way. Just a scratch. He'll come up, heal up. Yeah. Ferdinand. I do this for all of us. Take Bernadetta. She comes up here. There's a steel bow. Of course, misses, but thank you, Crest of Indec. Kind of saved me there. Oh, there we go. We got. Oh, cool. I guess that works. <laughs> My orders. Shall we? There we go. Try and draw one of those dragon riders. This should work a little better. Thought I'd see if I could get a little bit of damage on him. Try and help out Leone a little bit. Not happy about that damage, but... Holy crap, she had a 50 crit? Sorry, but it's you or me. Jesus, how'd you get that high of a crit? Well, I just get plus three extra damage. I don't make use of the some of their those abilities. Yeah, man, why'd you get all that extra crit? Oh, there you go. Fo initiates in the yeah, and her battalion's weak. Okay, makes sense. It took me a second. I was like, Jesus Christ. Not too kind. See what you can do. Put her in the bushes. It should give her a little bit of extra, Still extra it. defense. What's my strategy? I could head in. Well, how much damage do I do? I got a 91%? Yeah, sure, why not? Here is something to believe. <laughs> I must lead them well. Boo-boo. 
Definitely made a boo boo. What's my strategy? It's over. <laughs> All is going to plan. There we go. That was probably smarter. Less fun, but smarter. And yeah, minus one. Keep working on the white magic, heal up. For all of us. No hesitation. This could turn the health back, got a kill. Not bad. Little disappointed in Leone that she got hit by a uh, what was that a 35? God damn it, miss, miss, come on! Still in it. The reason I did that. Make this quick. Thanks. Go heal. I'm your girl. Ready for anything. Just a scratch. Yeah. Yeah, we do that. We keep moving up with Bernadetta just to help take out some of those flying units. Violet moves there. It moves fire, gets a kill. It won't be in vain. Yeah, take the hit. Burn, crit, health to Byleth, get to level 38. I'm stronger than before. Still disappointed that you got hit by a 35. Go, Raphael. Alright, there we go. Nobody died. At the end of the day, that's a good day. What was that? It was a, it was a, it was a Chris Hardwick bit. Where he has a, uh, as he puts it, his dad lives life past fail. You know, he, you know, he once had a really shitty day, and his, you know, his dad comes up to him and says, "Hey, buddy, you know, any day you can take a shit is a good day." <laughs> that's, that's that's my dad. He lives life past fail. <laughs> I guess I guess in a way that's not a bad life philosophy. You know. Be smart, or I'm finished. For Gerald. Shall we? Yeah, just gonna keep advancing, keep trying to get kills. Leave it to me. All is going to plan. There we go. Challenge that axe user. You did the trick. I brought a net trying to get her some get her some kills, but I just I, I had her and I, I I've just positioned her so terribly this entire time. There's just nowhere good to uh, to put her right now. So nice. Okay. If 
her come in, be ready to swoop. Go draw that guy. There we go. Fine. God damn, I can't get dodges in this one. this let's lead off with a little bit of magic do some damage Put our buddy Linhart up and do some damage unnecessary crit but okay he gets damage get some support start drawing in that archer Mioni finishes him off, gets the level. God damn, I'm not trying to feed Leone kills, but... Did the trick. Uh, but she's... God damn, I, I don't know if I just... I place her in the right spots or what, but she always ends up getting... A lot of kills. And nothing I can really do with her right now, so she'll kind of chill there. Hilda, did, did you just miss an 80-something? I, I, I need you to answer that question because I need to know um, why. Why why did you do that? Why why do you why do you hurt me? I'm your girl. Can't afford to lose. I keep it. Shall we? There you go. That was a little better. Yeah, I know she hit both, so you know, I but I, I'd say it would be a lot better if she would have dodged the magic attack. I'll try. Excuse me. Alright, there we go. A little bit of damage. Start moving this way. Pull up. I do this for all of us. Gotta get her a silver lance. My orders? Ready for anything. Sunshine. Oh. Imagine being and drop me. him like that. Constance. It's the level. All that. Hold position. And he's got a 45% chance to hit her. I'm awake. Thanks. I'm just gonna let that guy come up. Make this quick. Just a scratch. Shall we? And 
Hey, he picked up enough experience. Kind of spread the wealth a little bit. Nice dodge. You know, I was really hoping you'd move like that. Because now I can do this. That's depressing. Shall we? All right. Um, I'd rather her not get that much, not take that much damage. I do this for all of us. Good avoid. Try this one more time. There we go. And holds all of them in place. <laughs> My orders? Damage to him. Got the kill with the bow. go. Hilda will come up, finish off the mage. What's my stress? Send Byleth over. I'm awake. Leave it to me. Ready for anything. Sunshine. Go. Hilda. A heal. Hold position. Move like that. Let's make this quick. Thanks, Bell. The timing. I must lead them well. There we go. That guy will take a shot at me. I mean, might as well. I mean, it's going to get him killed, but... Oh, and painfully. I like to think... Uh, I mean, crits do more damage, so yeah, I like to think that they hurt just a little bit more. Oh, what to do. Start drawing some... Wyverns. Oh, yeah. And all I can do is just kind of move up slowly. Sam kind of locked in tight back there. Hold position for now. Them come over to us. Missed. So watch and learn. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, that's a I dead dragon. Them well. And ah, crap! I thought maybe should be able to get that shot in, but apparently not. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Why like that? Ooh. Let's take the bow sh uh, the double bow shot. Kill. Anyone still level 31? You lost that one. We go. I think I'm gonna move her to that position over here and try to kind of like launch a uh, magic artillery across the. Uh, trying to think here across that that wall. A couple 
couple archers, couple axe users. I think we got rid of all the scary units. I.e. all the wyvern riders. And we still gotta be a little careful, but we can be a little, a little bit more aggressive. Thinking that maybe I'd be able to do some damage, I was incorrect. I'm, am I? Am I going? Am I going insane? I'm seeing 92s. What the hell is wrong with that? But it's you or me. Sorry, it's you and me. It's you or me, and I very much like me. My joke of a life drags on. Um, yeah, we're gonna not do that. Not for anything. Oh yeah, I forgot. She's got she got so much range. It doesn't matter what archer takes a shot at her. She's returning fire. No time to slow down. I can't remember who it was that suggested I um I equip wait, what is it? Thursis? Is that the name of the uh There's no uh, of the magic staff that I have equipped with her right now? Whoever suggested that, that <laughs> it is a oh man, it's a gr it's a good weapon. Um, Hilda, yeah, I'll send Hilda this way. What do you want? You better not stand in our way. Oh, this is the I think the boss man. Oh well, there's only a few enemies left. And after I went to all the trouble of killing that noble and stealing his treasure. Father, no! So we were too late after all. I like how his portrait has a smile, even though his, he just found out that his father died. <laughs> well, look, you could think of it that way, or you could think of it as, hey, you get a, uh, you get a hero's relic. Finished it. So you know, small victories. Let's make this quick. You lost that one. I'm your girl. Um, I'm awake. I think. You're too kind. Yeah, what else to do? I think we, I think we've got this one. And just let these guys charge. Never let your guard. Hilda got that one. There we go. We got her. We got her something. 
him nobody's fool. Eh, free Silver Lance, I guess. Eh. I guess it was worth it. Yeah, let's be honest, that was a pretty obvious... Um, come on, MVP. Okay. Ferdinand. Hey. Yes? I... I don't know what to say. About your father, I mean. No, it is alright. Some part of me was expecting this. I do not know what happened in Hrim territory, but I am sure he got what he deserved. You knew more about it, you said? Maybe you can tell me everything later. I can tell you what I know. Please, do. You know about the Hurim Rebellion, right? Of course. The rebellion started when Emperor Ionius IX tried to consolidate power. The Hrim family tried to split off from the Empire and join the Alliance. Working with House Ordelia, they raised an insurrection. The Empire suppressed it. And then a puppet leader was installed in the Hrim territory. House Iyer was tasked with handling the actual governance of the region. Seeing this, the nobles feared that the Empire would assume total control. That's when the six great noble families chose to wrest power from Ionius IX. That's right. The Insurrection of the Seven. I've always wondered why it was called Seven when there were only six noble families. It was the six great noble families, plus Hrim. How vexing. Either way, events unfolded shortly thereafter. Are you aware of how Duke Iyer was ruling the Harim territory? He imposed harsh taxes upon the people, much harsher than on his own, making their lives very challenging. People fled their homes in droves to the neighboring Ordelia territory, but they were sent back from where they came. The Empire was occupying Ordelia territory as well, as it turned out. Issues were further complicated when Duke Iyer fell from power. Iyer was dismissed from his position, only to be replaced by Lord Arendel. Edelgard's uncle. The regent of the Empire. Correct. And he imposed even heavier taxes on the people, squeezing them painfully dry. The people were conscripted for duty. Any who opposed were killed on the spot. Lord Arendel did this in the name of Duke Iyer. What? Your father was by no means a great ruler, but it was Lord Arendelle who stoked the fury of the people and directed that fury at your father. Duke Iyer is not perfect, but he's not the villain in this. So basically you're saying he's a piece of crap, but he's not a piece of shit? That's, that's what I got Thank from that. for telling me all of this. I am embarrassed to say I had no idea. I see now that it was not his fault, but he did go along the wrong path and place a burden on his people. He can no longer atone for what he did. So I will have to. I need to go think about what I will do after the war. How I will make up for my father's mistakes. Nothing helps deep thought like sweets. Hmm? Sweets. They help you think. Perhaps you should find some for us. I see. If I find some, I will be sure to let you know. All right. Well, we are back to this point. Uh, I'll probably just do a yeah, do this uh, rare enemies. Probably get a, uh, a special weapon or something um, before we move on. Next video, we'll do uh, some just normal instruction uh, and then do a paralogue and uh, move on from there. So I want to say as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Facebook or the website mindset.com. Links that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment, if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned more next time. Until then, my name's AJ Gills. This is the Game Channel. I'm out.